same mindset that we brought to this game. So Tony, you more sports writer magazine. Speaking of those mistakes, what would you say some of the biggest ones were? Well, it, it's interesting. It, you know, just going back through some of the plays that happened in the course of the game, I would actually phrase it as if you make a small mistake, um, they can make you pay. So, um, you know, if somebody's open, uh, they find them. And right now that guy is shooting it and making it at a high percentage. So I don't think that, you know, there's a big area or a big mistake. I think it's you have to you have to be really um, more perfect, more connected um, with their shooters all the time, and uh, you know I, th I think we were better there. We just we've got to be even better. Bo Cherney, HawksHoop.com, coach. Final eight seventeen of the game. You only scored five points after that point. Did they make a defensive adjustment, or did shots just stop falling? What from your observation happened there? Um, you know, I can't speak for their defensive adjustments. I think they may have changed to some of the matchups, switched a little more. Um, and, you know, we'll look at the film. You know, there's a few plays or a few, um, I think, opportunities that we feel good about. And uh, that just, um, you know, we got to score better. We got to execute better uh, down the stretch. Chris Parker, Cleveland team. Coach, it seemed like you had some success uh, hedging and uh, blitzing the uh, pick and roll, um, but it didn't seem like that happened as much in the fourth. Was that an adjustment on their part or was it just execution? Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, depending on who's in the game and, and those various things can, uh, you may have to change what you're doing. And obviously, uh, you know, Fry had a heck of a night. Um, they played Fry and Love together some. Um, or a lot in the fourth quarter, so um, you know, and, and maybe we, we we could have or should have stayed uh, more aggressive. But um, you know, they had an awful lot of shooting on the court uh, for the most of the fourth quarter, and um, so that you know, sometimes that dictates you got to do something a little different. Coach Marzino, nights on the game here in Atlanta. Did you say anything to Jeff after the hard foul on LeBron? Or was it just frustration pouring over? Yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm sure it was probably a uh, the proper judgment or ruling by the officials, but I, I mean, I, I haven't looked at it again, and and I'm not saying it wasn't a flagrant one, but I don't think it was uh, anything over the line or malicious, and uh, you know, I think we'll be ready to play on Sunday, and it's been a pretty clean series, and um, we'll continue to you know compete and have an edge, but um, I don't think there's any of that happening in this series. Brad Roller for Peachtree Hoops. Uh, obviously, made some lineup changes, um, some rotation changes. What with Chris Humphreys changed the starting lineup. Is that something that you, that you uh, want to stay with moving forward? And how did you feel that those things worked? Obviously, had some success early on in the game. You know, we'll look at the film, and you know, we have whatever a day and a half to kind of digest um, how the game unfolded. And but you know, my my initial reaction, I, I'm you know very very uh, impressed by how Kyle Korver um, approached the game, how he came in and impacted the game. I, I think that's the first time he's come off the bench since you know I've been here in Atlanta. And uh, it's just, it speaks to his character, uh, speaks to the person that he is to understand the best thing. You know, we felt the best thing for our team was to bring him off the bench. Maybe he could give us a lift. And just uh, like, I can't say enough about what a great teammate he is to do that and have the approach he had. And then Humphreys was obviously great too. Um, and I think he, uh, he actually played so much in the first half, uh, you know, towards the end, it looked like he was, you know, he probably needed a break. Um, but I thought both those guys uh, were very good. I thought the whole, you know, the group on the whole was good. I, I don't think it's as much about the adjustments or changes. It's just, you know, the, the group had a good mindset. Um, they came in and um, they gave themselves a chance. Coach, uh, Kevin Taylor, Taylor May Sports. Uh, just talk about being out rebounded, uh, fifty-five to twenty-eight tonight. Yeah, you know it's it's an interesting sport. Um, at halftime, I think we'd been out rebounded by sixteen. Uh, if anybody's got the halftime stat sheet, I think it was thirty to fourteen at halftime, and we were up eight. So, um, you know, I, I think obviously you don't want to be out rebounded. It's not something you go into a game and say, "Go ahead, take them all," but. Um, 
And I think we had lots of opportunities. We had lots of chances uh, with the groups we were playing, and um, we we out rebounded them in the first game and lost. So I think the rebounding thing, I think what matters more is who scores the most. Do we have any more questions? Thank you.